Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. Philip Hergovic, 17 fights, no losses, 14 KOs, has long awaited his opportunity at a world title following his August 2022 victory over Zhile Zhang, 26 fights, 2 losses, 1 draw, 21 KOs, claiming a narrow points win over the Chinese heavyweight contender. The win over Zhang put the Croat Hergovic into the IBF's mandatory position for an opportunity against either Oleksandr Yusik or Anthony Joshua, who appeared on the same August 2022 Saudi Arabian card in a rematch following Yusik's impressive defeat of Joshua in September 2021. Yusik, 21 fights, no losses, 14 KOs, defended his title successfully against Joshua, 28 fights, 3 losses, 25 KOs, and made his next defense in August in Wroclaw, Poland, with a ninth-round stoppage of Daniel Dubois, 20 fights, 2 losses, 19 KOs. Now Yusik is set to face WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, 34 fights, no losses, 1 draw, 24 KOs, on May 18 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Yusik Fury was reportedly scheduled for December 23 last year. However, Fury had his hands full with Francis Ngannou in October, and the proposed fight date was postponed. A date of February 17 went the same way after Fury picked up a cut in sparring. Due to a mutually agreed rematch clause between Yusik and Fury, the winner of their May 18 contest will vacate the IBF World Heavyweight title because of the IBF's rules in honoring mandatory commitments. If and when the IBF title becomes vacant, the highest available contenders will be Hergovic and Joshua, who last week impressed with a two-round demolition of former UFC heavyweight champion Gano. Speaking to IFL-TV, Hergovic welcomed the prospect of facing Joshua for the IBF title due to the Britain's stardom and profile. I hope so. It's not about me, it's about him, Hergovic told IFL-TV regarding Joshua. Of course I want to fight him. He's a star, and he'll decide. If that fight doesn't happen, it's not about me. I want to fight him. I'm ready. When the IBF becomes vacant, and it'll become after Fury Usyk, me and him are next in the line, there's no reason for it not to happen. Only if he doesn't want that. Let us know what you think about all this in the comment section below, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. We sign out.